It's 7 o'clock. The polls have officially closed for the state of Georgia. Thank you so much for joining us. Now we wait to see who our winners will be, especially for the president of the United States. I'm Faith Jesse. And I am Zach Merchant. We expect to see results starting to be reported within the hour, and we will be tracking them all night long as they come in. You see the results map right now, or you should in just a moment. Zero percent reporting right now. That's no surprise. But it's going to change, and it's going to start changing soon. We will be following every update as it comes in. And we know that whatever happens, this election will go down as historic. Should Donald Trump win, it would mark only the second time that a former president came back to win a non-consecutive term. The only other time that happened. 1892, when Grover Cleveland reclaimed the White House after losing it four years earlier. If Kamala Harris wins, many firsts. Not only would she be the nation's first female president, but also the first black woman and the first person of South Asian descent to reach the Oval Office. All of this coming four years after she broke the same barriers in the national office by becoming President Joe Biden's vice president. And uh, we should note here, it has not been an election day without some alarming moments so yeah. far today. We want to take you right now live to Angelina Salcedo. She is in DeKalb County at Reed Coffer Library. Does, Angelina, what are you seeing? Well, there were seven different threats that came into DeKalb County. Five of those were actually at voting precincts. Two of them were at another location that is not a voting precinct and another library. This library that we're currently at right now is actually back open. You can see that police are here guarding the front entrance, but they are allowing people to come in and out and cast their vote. Just about 10 or 15 minutes ago, though, I do want you to take a look at what it looks like outside. We shot some video of police here from DeKalb County doing a sweep of this area. That's exactly what they were doing at the five different voting precincts in this area after these bomb threats happened. Now, what they wanted to make sure was that not only the voters in this area, but the poll workers as well were safe. They took these threats seriously and immediately evacuated everyone out of those buildings, made sure that they did the sweeps at each of these five different voting precincts. And then once the all clear was given from DeKalb police, people were allowed to come in and cast their ballot. Now, with that being said, of course, it is seven o'clock right now. The DeKalb Elections Office said that they were working to try and get an emergency order signed to try and extend the time that people can cast their ballot. We're still waiting for an update on that. But right now we have still seen people come in and out to cast their ballot and they are accepting voters at this location in DeKalb County. We're live in Tucker, Angelina Salcido, 11 Alive News. Thank you so much, Angelina. We will continue to monitor that situation. And